Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive in a 15-inch late 2008 MacBook Pro. We've already gathered our materials, have shut down and unplugged the MacBook Pro, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close your MacBook Pro and flip it over. Next, use the latch on the bottom to release the battery cover, which can then be removed. Then, lift the battery up and out of the MacBook Pro. The hard drive itself is held into place by a plastic retaining bar with a single Phillips screw. Loosen this screw and remove the retaining bar. You can now lift the drive out of its compartment by the small plastic tab, then detach the SATA connector by simply sliding it off. Next, remove the four Torx T6 mounting pins along the edges of the drive. Finally, gently peel the pull tab off the old drive so you can attach it to the new one. You can install either a standard 2.5 inch hard drive or 2.5 inch solid state drive in the drive bay. For this installation, we're going to use a standard hard drive. First, attach the four Torx T6 mounting pins to your new drive. Next, attach the plastic pull tab to the new drive in the same position as it was on the old one. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Then, attach the SATA connector to the new drive. You can now set the drive into the bay, making sure that the mounting pins line up with the appropriate slots in the bay and that the drive sits flat. Then, place the retainer bar back into place and tighten it down with the Phillips screw. Set the battery back into place, followed by the compartment cover. Make sure that the latch is in the open position or the cover won't sit properly. Finally, close the latch, which will seal the battery cover. You may now flip your MacBook Pro back over, open it up, and turn it on. 